For this tutorial, we'll be using Blender version 4.1. So let's get started. So right here, we'll just create everything on our viewport and add our object. And that's gonna be our USPO. And to convert this object into a fire emitting object, we'll just go to object and under quick effects, we'll just select quick smoke. And right here, we have our box over here. And this box is called as smoke domain. So in simple words, we can say that Whatever the fire simulation or smoke simulation goes on stays in this domain and our object which is our fire emitting object will stay in wireframe in both object and wireframe mode. So now when you press play you can see we are only getting smoke not the fire. So to get the fire what we can do is that we can select the object and go to physics tab and under floor type we can just select fire plus smoke. And now when you play get fire plus smoke and now we have our basic fire and we can improve this so that it looks very realistic and to do that we have some settings to do so before we do that settings and all get into settings uh, I recommend you to create another tab like so and set this to property and select domain go to physics tab and pin this so after you pin this, if you select the smoke domain or any other object, our domains uh, settings, you know, tab, this tab will stay remain as remain like this. So it makes easier to, you know, control all the things. And uh, yeah, so first off, I'm just going to talk about the resolution division. And I'm pretty sure that you know what is the resolution. And, and in this case, this box this cube over here is our resolution so simply put if you just increase the resolution to 64 our cube is gonna get smaller and our fire quality is gonna improve that's it so I recommend the value of 64 for any kind of render which is a little bit far away and if you want a very clear realistic kind of fire you can just bump it up to 128 and for this tutorial I'm just explaining so because of that I'm just going to set it to default which is 32 and that's resolution division also we can just hover on this tab and you get this uh, message note and you can just read it and just cut it so if I miss something in this tutorial to explain you can just do that in your blender and right ahead when you play you can see a smoke is getting accumulated over here and if you know anything about smokes you know that smoke usually uh, dissolve into atmosphere and to do that what we can do is that we can just uh, take this dissolve button so that we get the smoke gets dissolved in the atmosphere and as you can see we are not getting a much smoke as before and to increase the smoke can just increase the time over here I'm just going to set it to uh, let's say 25 and right ahead we'll have some smoke and over time is going to get dissolved and as you can see is is getting accumulated a little bit over here and if this is the case you can just decrease the time a little bit and now uh, before you do anything we have a simple way to make this fire solution fire simulation very very efficient and what i mean by efficient is that as you can see in this frame the fire is only at this place and blender is calculating all this unnecessary uh, space over here inside this domain and it just is is just going to increase the render time and the simulation time and to decrease the render time the resolution time all this i mean simulation time what we can do is that we can just uh, we can just collapse this domain to this size and after this fire goes past this we can just expand the domain like so and to do that there's a way 
and that is called adaptive domain and you can see this box over here adaptive domain if you check this we'll, and we can enable that as you can see our domain became smaller now this is our domain and as you play it just grows like this as you can see it's growing and that's it so that makes our simulation very very efficient now let's just make our domain a little bit big so that we can animate this so I'm just going to scale this in Y axis and Z axis as well and now what we're gonna do is that we're gonna select our object and set I mean turn on auto key and as soon as you hit the space you just press G and move as however you want and now if you just play the animation our, key, our object will move like this which is very you know convenient and our animation ends at 110 frames so we'll just stop over there and I'll just increase the domain size in Z axis also now we have a problem we can see our smoke is kind of uh, it's looking kind of a 2d drawing right it's not behaving as a real smoke and to control this what we can do is that uh, we will select our object over here and under our object flow is you can just check this initial velocity button and this what it does is that we'll just apply all the physics rules of our nature to this uh, smoke simulation as you can see our fire is kind of behaving before it was like this it was like boring kind of moving stuff and as soon as you check that initial velocity button it just adds the character to the fire now this looks kind of realistic and if you just increase the domain resolution you will get a more uh, you know clear uh, fire and if you know anything about fire you know fire is kind of noisy as a noisy texture to it and to recreate this noisy texture in blender what we can do is that we can just check this noise button so now when you press play we'll have that noise kind of texture right as you can see uh, there's a noise texture to it and that's good now that's all for this uh, fire simulation but if we have a really really great problem over here if you go to render view our fire is not visible at all we just see our smoke and it's true even for uh, cycles engine as well and i just recommend the cycle engines for the engine for this tutorial because fire and all the stuff looks good in cycles so as you can see there's no fire at all so how do we bring back fire i'm just going to tell you now so you'll just get rid of this property tab and go to shader editor and spread and just select smoke domain so that you get this notes if you are not seeing this notes and you have selected the smoke domain you just have to check this use notes uh, thing so right now we have a lot of uh, things over here so what I want you to do is that you just increase the black body intensity to whatever you want let's say 10 now we can see our fire is kind of blooming I mean now it has emission but it's not looking like a fire so in order to make it look like a fire what we can do is that we'll just add a volume info node so this node I uh, sorry volume info node so this node holds all the property of this fire so if you just connect this nodes to this you can just edit that you know uh, shaders so what I'm gonna do is that we'll just add a color ramp and select the flame and just set it over to color ramp and the color to the black body intensity and right ahead our, uh, our fire just uh, you know became dull to bring back that uh, glowing effect we'll just add a matte node 
pop this in and set this to multiply and set the value to whatever you want I mean, let's say 10 so this value is same as though it was here so let's say we have 10 over here you just set it to 10 and just plug this in and now we have a really you know the color just shifted right as you can see I'll just demonstrate again you can see the blooming effect has gone but still it's not looking like a real fire so what we can do is that this is a little cheap little trick you can just set it set the color ramp to be spy line and just move the shader tab like so and add another shader and just bring it up like this like so so now we have a smooth edge over here and that's what we need if you just put the thing over here we can see our edge becomes reddish and you can just use this also because this is pretty uh, this is uh, you know nodes and we'll just now uh, we'll we'll try to make this even more better so we'll just duplicate the color ramp and pop the density node to the factor and set the color to value and we'll just reset the color ramp of the density and again we'll multiply the uh, I mean <laughs> duplicate the multiple node and select and now what we can do is that we'll just try to move this tab like so and as you can see we got that flame fire kind of look uh, what it's doing is that it's just adding black color in this middle middle kind of thing and that creates a really real flame kind of look and that what gives you know a uh, realistic look and you can just play with this with bunch of nodes as well if you don't want the uh, let's say uh, blackish more in the middle you can just set this to little bit dark you can just add a third or you know this thing and you can just keep it to little bit bright and just pull this over like so so there are endless ways you can modify this so just find what is good and this is what we need and to add a little bit of touch we'll add a math node again and this time it's gonna be at add and what you can do is that you can just control where the fire you want to be as you can see I want the fire to be like this so I'm going to just going to set it like so and we'll just save it for the lowest time and we'll add our camera uh, yeah as I always say if you want to align the camera to the viewport you can do what you can do is that you can just go to view and align view align active camera to view and if you want to move the camera in WASD keys you can do that also you can just go to view navigation and walk navigation and you can use the WASD keys as in the games like in the games and you can just place the camera like this like so and we'll set the wall strength to zero and we get the flame but as you can see we are not able to see the smoke smoke so what we'll do is that we'll just add a point light and we'll just move this behind a little bit sorry like so and just increase the emission to let's say 100 okay we'll just increase it uh, way more and now you can see we are getting those smokes we can see those smokes and that's looking very very good and realistic and also you can just uh, add a plane in background if you want you can just do whatever you want with this flame you can just uh, you know light the sword up and just uh, animate this like I did over here and there's just endless possibilities with this tutorial and if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe blender thanks for watching guys